What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to create a moving construction animation or we're going to create an animation of a construction job site with actual moving parts like the crane's going to move and uh, we're going to have a concrete truck drive in into the job site. Uh, before I get started I do want to thank my two newest supporters on Patreon. So thanks very much to Stefano Citolin and Vitaly Stockman. Um, they're my newest supporters. As most of you know, Patreon is the website where you can support YouTube creators that you like. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me. Everything that I make on that channel or on that uh, website gets reinvested back into the channel. So helping me uh, pay for things like new extensions and other things to, to create better content for the channel. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out that link in the notes below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so some of you may remember from a uh, week or two ago, um, in the last video we talked about creating um, an animation of a car driving down the road and also a person walking and we're using the extension animator in order to do that well in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate a construction job site and we're just gonna animate a couple things we're gonna animate the crane moving back and forth and we're also gonna create a path that this truck can drive along so that it can actually drive into the job site from these basics you can basically do all sorts of animations with animator and animator if you remember is a free extension from Fredo 6 I'll link to that in the notes below so um, to model my job site what I've done is I've actually modeled my site um, using placemaker and so what I did is I used placemaker to bring in all the roads and all the buildings in the general area and then I've come in here and I've modeled my job site out in order to kind of show uh, you know how close it is to the to the buildings, that sort of thing. And so if that's something you want to check out, you can check that out in the link in the notes below as well. Um, I do want to note that I'm an affiliate for Placemaker, but I do find that it's a really useful extension for getting an idea of what's going on around your model. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to animate this crane. And the crane is just something that I've brought in from the 3D warehouse. And to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to click on the clip editor button and if most of you remember or some of you may remember and i'm going to link to this probably it'll be the first comment that i put down below but i'll link to uh the last video that i did on animator because it gives you kind of a walkthrough of these tools but basically if you remember this is where you work on your animation and so what we want to do is we want to first of all we can rename our film if you want to you don't have to i'm going to call it construction job site movement. I don't want to call it construction animation because I may actually create one with a construction animation where the building kind of builds up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple different things. The first thing we want to do is we want to add a clip um, or we want to add a movement. And so we want to come over here to this insert a unit movement in the timeline. We're going to click on that and it's going to ask you to add a new movement. And so I'm going to click on this to add a movement. And then your menu is going to change where you can actually adjust these objects. And so you can see what you can do is you can name your object. This is where you'll manage the actual movements themselves. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to name this crane rotation. And I'm going to hit OK. And so now what we want to do is there's a whole bunch of different kinds of animation types over here. Well, we want to select the one for, you can either select rotation or spin. So I'm going to select rotation and what we're going to do is we're going to find something in our model that we want to rotate. So you can see how as I move my mouse over different things in the model it's showing you the different components and so like all of these buildings are in here as different components. You can see how if I move my mouse over the entire crane I can select that. You can also see how the top part of my crane is in here as a separate component and so I can just come in here and I can just click on this and when I do this it's going to ask me which component it wants to select because when you move your mouse over this you have your mouse over both the full crane component or the top and I made sure to have the top in here as a separate object so I'm going to select the top and so what you're telling it is we want to rotate the top of our crane and so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to try to center this on our crane and sometimes it makes sense um, to add a guide point and, and in fact actually this is really nice you can see how as you move your mouse over this it actually shows you the center point of your object and so that's really easy for me to come in here and click on that so I'm telling it I want it to start rotating from there and I'm just gonna move my mouse out and click once 
and then I'm going to move my mouse again and you can see how there's kind of a problem here where this piece is outside of your crane top and so it's not rotating with it. And we'll fix that in a minute. For right now what we're going to do is we're going to move our mouse over here probably about 140 degrees. And so you can see how as I move that out about 140 degrees that's giving me my crane rotation. And so I've told it to animate this. Now it's it's also asking me if you look in here how long I want this animation to go. So how long I want it to take for this to rotate across the top. And so let's go ahead and we'll set this for probably five seconds. So I'm just clicking on that and typing a five in and hitting the enter key. And what you should be able to do when you do this is you can preview your animation by clicking on this play button. And so I think we can adjust the smoothness in a second, but you can see how basically it's showing you that it's going to move here, 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 here. And so now we've got our crane rotating across this uh, point right here. And so we have that kind of the way that we want it. So we're going to click save the sequence and exit. So I'm going to click on that. All right, so you've got your crane rotation in here. So now if you hit play, you can see how this is going to rotate around and um, don't worry about the frame rate right now you'll adjust the frame rate when you export your video so this is going to look choppy because this is just kind of a uh, like a build mode type thing um, it's not really designed for you to be in here it's not really designed for ultra smooth movement while you're previewing it so you're going to want to make sure you click the save button a whole bunch just so you don't accidentally lose your work i've lost some i've lost some animations um, before and it gets a little bit annoying when you have to go back in and re-add everything so just make sure you click that um, that save button alright so now that we've saved what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit so we're gonna click the little exit button up here and what we wanna do is we're actually gonna go into our outliner and we're gonna move this little piece inside of our uh, inside of our top part component and so in order to do that we're just gonna go in the outliner and this is my crane and you can see how all these different parts are in here as different Group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these objects and I'm just going to drag them into this top piece. So all I did is I took them and I nested them in the top piece. So now if you click on the top piece, these will show up in here. Well, now those should animate properly. So now if we go back inside animate, so now if we click play, if you remember how this piece before didn't rotate with our object, well now it's rotating with our object. It's in there as a part. So you can see how now that that's in there, this whole top piece is rotating the way that we want it to rotate. And so now we've got our construction crane animation in here. And if you remember, you can come in here and you can adjust this. So you could come in here, you can remember you can click on a scene over here in your um, in your timeline bar. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to turn profiles off so this runs a little bit faster. And I'm also going to purge the unused stuff in my model. So sometimes when you bring stuff in from a uh, the 3D warehouse it brings in a whole lot of extra junk that you don't need so this is running slow for some reason I'm not really sure why so I'm gonna go ahead and click purge unused get rid of all the extra stuff and I also set this on a faster style mode and so you can see how you can adjust these different parts and pieces by clicking on so if you have a second scene you could click on the other scene over here in your timeliner alright so now the other thing that I want this to do is I want to animate this truck driving off this road and onto the job site. And so what we're going to do in order to do that is we're going to create a path and we're going to use the animate along path function in here in order to tell this to do that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line along this face. And then I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to draw an arc through here. So we're going to animate our construction or, or we're going to animate our concrete truck driving over to this side of the building. And so I'm not 100% sure if you need to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the weld extension to weld all of this into one continuous path. And so I'm just going to go up to extensions and I'm going to click weld and that's something you can also download either from the 3D warehouse or from the Sketchication website. I don't remember um, which one that is. I'm going to go ahead and move my truck back here. 
All right, so the other thing that may be slowing this down is maybe having the buildings and the roads on here is slowing it down. So probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn those off. So when you bring those in from Placemaker, you get your buildings and your roads, um, they get put in on different layers. So now that I have my path generated, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my buildings and my roads off for right now. And we'll see if that kind of affects my performance. So this is kind of odd. I didn't really expect everything to be running this slow. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in our clip editor and we're going to add an animation for the truck moving along this line. And so what we're gonna do is you remember you can insert an animation over here. So you're just gonna click on this and you're gonna add a new movement. And in this case, we're gonna call the new movement truck driving. So just click on this point right here in order to do that. And what we're gonna do for this movement is we're actually gonna come over here and we're gonna click on path, so along a path. And so what that'll do is that's gonna tell you to select your object that you want to move along the path. So in this case, I'm gonna move along this truck. And so I'm gonna click on it. And you remember it's going to ask me to select an object. And so what we wanna do is we wanna select the overall truck object. And so I believe that's probably going to be this last one. So we're going to click on the truck, and then now it's going to ask you to select a path. So I'm just going to click on this line, and then that's going to tell it to animate this along the path. So if we click on this, and let's say it takes eight seconds for this to move along this path, what this is going to do is this is going to move my truck all the way along the path. And so you can kind of preview that by clicking on points along this line. you can see where the truck's gonna go, or you can click on this play button. And it'll get a, give you a preview of what the truck's gonna do. So you can see how that truck drove all the way along this path. So now we have the truck movement animated, and we've basically told that that's gonna take eight seconds for that truck to go from here to here. And I think I'm pretty good with that, so go ahead and click this uh, save the sequence and exit. That'll save it, and it'll add it to your timeliner over here. And so you can see how now if I come in here and I click play, my truck is driving and my crane is moving along this point. So now I've got an animation where I have a truck that drives in here along this edge and drives to the side of my building. You can see how I came in here and I turned profiles off and that made this run a lot faster. And so maybe part of what was making this run slow is it was trying to animate a profile line along this whole edge here. And so the other thing I wanna do, um, cause I'm good with the truck driving in here is I want to animate this crane so that it moves back and forth. So you can see how right now it's moving forward but not backward. I want it to continually move back and forth while my truck's driving in. And so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm going to come over here and I'm gonna click on this five second point. And I'm gonna click insert a new anim or unit movement. And we're just gonna insert a reverse movement of the crane. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click crane rotation. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add your crane rotation in here again. And so what we want this to do in this case is right now if you run this and let's say we started at 4.3 seconds and we hit play, you can see how what it's doing is it's continuing to animate this crane moving along this direction. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna reverse that um, because we want the crane to rotate back. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this little reverse the sequence button. And so when you reverse the sequence, what that's gonna do is instead of having the crane continue animating, moving along this curve, what it's gonna do instead is it's gonna animate the crane moving back in the other direction. So you can see how as I click along this, it's rotating it back instead of forward. And so now, you could just duplicate these over and over again to have the crane keep moving that way. So now we've got our truck animated driving in and out. We've got our crane animated moving back and forth. So now all we have to do is, first of all, I'm gonna save this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap the spacebar key to jump out of the extension. And I'm gonna hide this line. And then I'll click this little button up in the corner that comes up that says back to animator. So now I can bring animator back up. Well now, 
you should be able to animate this along the path, but the line's not actually going to show up. So you can adjust the visibility. So you can see how that path line isn't in here anymore because I hit it. And so now what I have is I have a construction animation where my crane is moving back and forth. My truck is driving in along a path that you can't see. So it's a nice smooth animation. So now I kind of have this the way that I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and export this to a video. And so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this generate a video. But before you do that, you want to make sure you turn your buildings and your roads back on. So now my buildings and my roads are showing up in here and I have a truck moving along this face. And so in order to export this, all you're going to do is you're going to click on this little you're going to click on this little video generation button. And one thing that's going to be important and uh, you can't really see it in this image right here is there's an extension that you need to download called FFMPEG and it's basically something that allows this to export as a video as opposed to exporting as a series of images so if you don't have that plugin then the only option you're gonna have here is images sequence and so there's a button that's gonna be over here that tells you where to get that and it's got a series of instructions for what to do with it and basically all you have to do is download a file unzip it and then basically tell animator where that is then it can actually generate this as a video and so um, once you do that, then you've got all these different options in here for speed factor and frame rate and dimensions. So all of these affect your export. So the more frames you have in here, the uh, more images Animator has to create, but the smoother your video is going to be. And you can see how down here at the bottom it tells you exactly how long this is going to be and also the number of frames. So in this case for a 10 second video, this is going to have to generate 251 still frames. So um, this will tell you where it's going to go. You can go ahead and name it select the video type in my case I picked mp4 um, for now we're not gonna do any of the rendering options uh, 25 is probably a pretty good frame rate for right now um, and then you can go ahead and click generate video and when you generate video this is gonna take a while so um, make sure that you have time to generate this before you click this because this can take a long time in order for it to work and as you can see, this is the video that gets created. So I'm actually pretty happy with how smooth the animation is in here. But you can see how your crane moves back and forth and your truck drives in. I'll probably repeat this a couple times just so you can watch it. But this is what's generated through this workflow. So that's where we're going to wrap up today's uh, animator overview. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Um, was it helpful to you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.